So every character class has uniques within Diablo 4 and we now know that there are certain enemy types in Diablo 4 that have increased chances of dropping these specific uniques. Today we check them out for the Necromancer, what uniques they have, the enemies which have increased drop chances of said uniques and in my opinion the best dungeons you should be farming for these specific items. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps me out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So when it comes to farming specific dungeons to try and get specific uniques to drop, any dungeon is fine theoretically but if you can roll a nightmare dungeon with that magic find modifier on, this is much much better as this modifier gives you increased drop chances of loot. Also, if you're looking for any specific uniques for your class, which isn't a necromancer, all videos will be linked down below. We also have to keep in mind, guys, the amulets and rings during this game at the moment doesn't have any increased drop odds from any specific enemy type. So the Death Speaker's Pendant and the Ring of Mendown do not currently have increased drop chances from any specific enemy type for the necromancer. Okay, so we're going to start with the Black River. This has increased drop chances from that drowned enemy type. So dungeons which offer plenty of these enemies, we have the Haunted Refuge, the Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier and the Vault of the Forsaken. I'd pick the Haunted Refuge of the best of the four, but hey, do what you gotta do, all are absolutely great and will give you increased chances. Next up guys, we have the Blood Artisan's Caress. This has increased drop chances from beasts and spiders. So dungeons with plenty of beasts in, we have Blind Burrows, Alderwood, Moorwood, Alder's Cave and the Haunted Refuge. Spider dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Gurun Canals, the Whispering Pines and the Champion's Demise. All four great dungeons there. But if I were you, I'd try and land yourself Blind Burrows here because it has both spiders and beasts within it so it just doubles your chances really okay so next up guys we have the bloodless scream now this doesn't actually have increased drop odds from any specific enemy type due to the research i've been doing if you know otherwise please let me know down below i actually had this real early on in I think probably world tier two or three i had this drop for me like when i was like a level 35 or 40 so this is definitely one of the more common ones but i cannot remember where it dropped Next up guys we have the Deathless Visage. This has increased drop chances from cultists and cannibals. Okay so those cannibal dungeons we have Gulran slums, earth and wound and a car now house. Cultist dungeons we have the conclave, serpent's lair and the shadow plunge. Six dungeons there in my opinion are great for these enemy types. So do what you gotta do guys and hopefully you get lucky. Next up people we have the Greaves of the Empty Tomb. This has increased drop chances from that drowned enemy type. Okay so great dungeons for these we have Haunted Refuge, Dead Man's Dredge, the Putrid Aquifier and the Vault of the Forsaken. Again here I'd pick the Haunted Refuge if I could but any of these four are great for this enemy type. And lastly guys on the Necromancer we have the Howl from below. This has increased drop chances from those spiders. Spider dungeons, we have the Blind Burrows, the Gurun Canals, the Whispering Pines and the Champion's Demise. All are absolutely great dungeons filled with that spider enemy type. But I've had to pick one here, definitely the Blind Burrows. Absolutely incredible dungeon. But there we have it guys for the Necromancer, the unique stay drop and the increased drop chances from said enemies and dungeons. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.